But more than just fun, writing is really important because it's a way of expressing identity and agency. By identity, we mean expressing who we are. It's not just what we look like or what nationality we are or what language we speak. It is actually how we use the language. It's what we say. It's the words that we choose to say and all of the ways that we use language that create who we are. It also is involved in defining what we can do with the language that we know. The language you can control affects what you can do, who you can talk to. When we write, we choose the words and create the texts that show who we are. Students need to see how important their language choices are. The importance of language is easiest for students to see in business, education, and government. They can usually see that those people who can handle the language very effectively tend to do well. Through language, students have the power to write themselves into the places they want to go. Some people say success depends on who you know. Other people say, success depends on what you know. I would say, success, who you know, and what you know all depend on how you express yourself in writing. Writing is the vehicle for connecting yourself to the rest of the world, and it provides you a mechanism for writing yourself into the world. I asked Professor Kotos what teachers need to know about writing. She talked about three fundamental characteristics of writing, register variation, process orientation, and interpersonal function. Let's listen. What's the most important thing for teachers to understand about teaching writing? Okay, so first of all, it is important for teachers to understand that the writing skill includes multiple types of abilities, including the ability to effectively use uh, the writing strategies and conventions of different registers. And what I mean by registers is the many styles or varieties of language um, that are determined by social context, purpose, and audience. In fact, um, this is what teachers of ESL writing generally find uh, difficult to teach. It is also very important for teachers to understand the relationship between linguistic forms and communicative functions. We do things with language in different contexts all the time. We ask questions, we give directions, we argue, we persuade, and um, different registers imply different language choices and levels of formality. So teachers should draw their students' attention to how specific language choices can help writers better convey specific shades of meaning. Um, teachers need to also understand the stages of writing as a process and not perceive writing as just a product. Um, writing is generating and shaping ideas that um, get polished through multiple drafting and iterative revisions before they make it into the final product. Um, one other idea I'd like to mention is that writing happens in the midst of social relationships, which is why writers often carefully choose appropriate linguistic forms, and they do that not only to express ideas, but um, also to present their identity and to create relationships in certain contexts. So, because people write for a wide range of purposes, Teachers need to shape writing instruction um, in ways that provide students with opportunities to write for varied purposes, trying to create authentic meaning for particular audiences. And that means that teachers should expose students to authentic texts representative of different registers and help the students focus on analyzing the audience, analyzing the context, the purpose of those texts, even before assigning their students certain writing tasks. 